Welcome to the Manana Ventures Tutoring YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. My name is Figure Storm and I'm your tutor. So today we'll be doing and continuing on our topic of frames. Graphical calculation of forces. Now the typical question would be to calculate the forces in each member. Now let's get right into it. Right. So how you do this is that if you look there you have A and B so the first point is to consider a point you put a point there you call it A now between A and B moving from A to B you there's a a force of 10 kilonewtons going down now you realize right there that we need a force scale, which is a scale that is going to be representative of the kilonewtons on the ruler. Now we're going to choose one centimeter is to one kilonewton. Okay, that's our force scale. That means that we can take our ruler, since one kilonewton represents one centimeter that means we can draw a vertical line going down which is going to be 10 centimeters right there a point it ends there so that is our point b going back to our diagram we have from b to c we have 15 kilonewtons going down so we go back there That means that from B, we draw down, move down 15 kilonewtons. And it ends there. So that's going to be our C. Now if you go back to our frame, from C to D, 13.75 and it's going up so from C which is there we need to measure 13.75 is somewhere there okay and it must take us back to zero up there so we're going to do this just to measure it up nicely so Right there, we call that one D. And then from D to A, we move up 11.25 kilonewtons. Now, this should take us back to zero. If it does not, then it means we did something wrong. So 11.25, somewhere there. And indeed, it does take us back. To a right now we are done with the vertical forces now to do to continue with this question we will need a protractor because we need to draw a e okay from a to e we see that the force is on a 45 degree incline or decline starting from top so we know where a is we do not know where e is on our force diagram so on top is 45 degrees so we're gonna measure 45 just like that okay of 30 40 45 it's right there 45 is right there okay and now what we're gonna do so we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna draw a faint line or a construction line that passes up oh, that's at a 45 degree angle like that okay we'll end it there the next line to draw will be e d because our force will be traveling will be on a horizontal e d 
E D, we still don't know where E is, but we know where D is. Okay, and it's a horizontal uh, force. So we go down to D. Okay, so there's our D there, and it's horizontal. Wherever they will meet with this line, that's going to be... Uh, let me just extend this line first. So that it will be able to meet with D. There we go. Now this one, I can draw it solid. It's not going to be a construction line. It's solid. And then I'll go ahead and make... This one solid. Just like that. Uh, which is for I rub that little bit off that we do not need. So then for neatness sake. And that point where they met. That's the point I'm going to call it E. All right. Now the next one to draw is EF. Now you can see EEF is actually uh, on an incline of 45, again, 45 degrees going that way from E. EF. We know where E is, so we can just straight take our compass. It's 45 degrees this side. So it's 30, 45 is there. All right, and then we'll draw our construction line. Now we do not know which side the next point is going to be, so we can just um, our construction line goes past E because we don't know whether it's going to be this side or this side, the next point. E, F. But here we have B, F. Okay, and it's a horizontal line. We know where B is, we don't know where F is on our force diagram. Okay, so this B is a horizontal line from B. We draw our horizontal line like that. And there, it's a solid line. And where they meet, that's our point F. Okay. Now I can go ahead and rub for neatness. Rub these parts that we do not need. Okay. And then make this one solid. Make this one. Just like that. Okay, the next one to draw is FG. As you can see, FG is 45 degrees on an incline of 45 degrees that way. So we take our ruler, our compass, put it there, measure 45 this side, okay, 30, 45 is there, mark our point there. Now, because we're also not sure which side our next point is going to be, so our construction line will just be on both sides, like that. Okay. Then, our next one will be, uh, we just did, which one did we do? FG. So, we can do GD. All right, G, D, and it's a horizontal. We know where D is. There's D. So, we'll just extend there. Like that. We don't need this part over here. We don't need this part. We'll go ahead and make this one solid. And that's our G. Okay. And then our last one is G C. It's 
on an incline of 45 or we have G there and we have C there we can just connect them if they do not make a 45 degree then we would have done something wrong they should in effect be at a 45 degree so just to measure my 45 down there okay let's go ah my ruler is not long enough but i'm just gonna go ahead and then Okay, so that's from C to G. If I am to measure this, should be at a 45. Let's see. Absolutely, that's it. We're good. So, we are done with our fourth diagram. Now all we have to do is write uh, the members. So we have member A E. So we write A E. So just the members. The next member is E D. All right. E D. The next one is E F. So we go E. F. The next one is F B. So we go F B. The next one is F G. 